pristine Beano Town Forest. A haven of tranquility. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Found anything, Nasha? Ooh. Ooh. Yay! Our train Ruby coming through! Humongous hike! How long have we been going? Oh, uh, about 10 minutes 38 seconds. Can we stop yet? These trainers may look cool, but they are hot. Come on, guys! Grizzly Gorilla is on his way to Beano Town, and I need to do something extreme to impress the ultimate king of outdoor survival. Oh, yeah, yeah, fanboy. You want to do something so blam, it'll become your MBFF. Oops. And what could be more blam than finding the mythical Beano Town Yeti? If it's mythical, how are we going to find it? We'll find it. And imagine how psyched Grizzly will be when I bring Bigfoot to meet him. Can I at least give these sweaty toes a breather? No way, JJ! <sighs> Evacuate the area! Wait up, guys! I can't believe Dennis actually believes in yetis. <laughs> His daft ideas mean we can have a bit of woodland fun at his expense. <laughs> we'll humiliate him so much he won't be able to show his face in Beano Town for a month. <laughs> Maybe a year. Perhaps for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh, I hate the smell of the countryside. Somebody get me some potpourri, quickly. Yeah, wheelchair wins again! Although I hope this Yeti isn't scared of loud noises. Doesn't matter. Super Stunt National will sniff him out. Ooh. Hey, Pie Face, you got any pies in here? My belly's running on empty. <laughs> huh? Pies! Stop the chops, JJ. We're doing this the Grizzly Griller way. We only eat what the forest provides. Um, they're fruits of the forest pie? Come on, it'll be fun, I promise. I'm drawing the line at eating bugs, Dennis. Mm. Oh, bye, pie. Mmm. <laughs> cool, JJ, you found berries. Hold up. Eating unidentified berries? Are you trying to poison yourselves? Besides... Guff berries! Oh, hey, I read about these in Grizzly's book. Cool. Why are they called guff berries? <laughs> you might want to take a step back. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> My dog has no nose. But how does it smell? Terrible. Ha! <laughs> what an amazing smell you've discovered! A nose blaster! Trump-testrophy! <laughs> they won't get away from... Oh, the countryside! Ooh. Oh, Paul, don't look! Cover your eyes! If you don't want a potato, JJ's got some guff berries on the go! Oh, and some guffs! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, but these berries are non-tastic. <laughs> you, um, you don't think there really could be a yeti, do you, Walter? Of course not, you nitwit. Now, come on. It's time to put my plan into action. What evidence do you have that the yeti is real? Inside info. Gran told me about the last bunch of kids that went in search of the yeti. This guy. Lord Snooty and his pals wanted the Yeti as a mascot for their cricket team. <laughs> Five of them went into the woods. None of them were ever seen again. <laughs> All they found was the top hat and the severed remains of... So <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Yet another undefinable smell. Stenchnado? Papa Hunters! <laughs> <laughs> JJ, 
If you let one rip in here, you're sleeping outside with the Yeti. <laughs> Mother's fur coat. Careful. It's made from a very rare Serengeti tiger hamster fur. If it gets damaged, you're for it. Now, take it over there and terrorize those dimwits. Roar! Roar! Huh? The Yeti? Roar! That Yeti needs roaring lessons. Roar! <laughs> Lamest Yeti impressions since Grand trying to grow a beard. Booyah! Oh, that was a rare and expensive tiger hamster Serengeti fur coat, and I expect you to pay for it. Huh, Walter, I didn't know you were into camping with a camera and a fur coat. Well, we are simply in the woods looking for the lesser spotted Beano Town wolf owl. <laughs> Pause off my pouch! Denny, help! You found a boy? Yeah, yeah, that's JJ. JJ. Keep your eyes peeled, Paul. Hmm. A Yeti head would make a spiffing addition to Daddy's collection. Hey guys, meet the Yeti. Turns out he can't get enough of my sweaty toes. <laughs> Not to mention eau de GG. This is fantastic. We can use you to lure the Yeti into town. Imagine Grizzly's face. Yes, imagine Grizzly's face when I walk the Yeti right past him back to my house. <laughs> It'll make such a fine ornament. Fetch! <laughs> Come on, Dennis! Think this through! That Yeti could make our fortunes! Lecture tours, public appearances, talent shows. Think of the money! No! I'm thinking of the Yeti! There's a reason the Yeti hides in the woods. If we take it to Grizzly, it'll have cameras in its face forever. We have to keep it a secret. Even if it means me not being Grizzly's NBFF. But what about Walter? First chance he gets, he'll blab to his dad. Major Decibel, Yeti, but we still have the problem of Walter. First mm. chance he gets, he'll be back with reinforcements. Uh -huh. mm. Oh! <gasps> Won't anyone notice that the new librarian is a Yeti? The old one has a beard. <laughs> <laughs> believe that Walter gets to meet Grizzly and you don't. Oh, thanks for pointing that out. And please, can you lay off the guff berries? Guff berries? Grizzly? I've written about these, but never actually tasted one. You guys must be ultimate survival experts to have found them. Uh, yeah, I guess we are. <laughs> um, 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 um. 
Excuse me, Mr. Gorilla. It's Grilla. Mr. It's Grilla. But I really don't think you want to be talking to this riffraff. You're missing your official welcoming ceremony. Oh, sorry. I, uh, uh pull my finger. Oh, OK, has to. Ah! Excuse me. <laughs> oh, how can it be Sunday afternoon already? They need to extend the weekend. It's never long enough. Then let's get outside and make the most of it. Think of all the adventures we could have, all the homework we could avoid doing. Bring it on! Nothing can stop us. Except the puncture on your bike. Except the puncture on my bike. I'll fix it for you. Check this. I asked Professor Screwtop to make this to help with my new hobby. Balloon animals? Balloon vegetables. Look, I made a pool. <laughs> the similarity is spooky. Pretty cool, huh? You know what else is cool? Static electricity. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> Come on, let's hit the park. Face, there's no stopping you. I only fixed the puncture with some bubble gum that was holding my scooter's brakes together. <laughs> <laughs> yep, really is no stopping him. Gotcha! Incredible how fast these rogue shrubs sprout up when we've had rain. Hold on. Oh, remind me, why are we doing this? I'm on the trail of the rare and valuable Walter Moth, as I shall call it when I discover it. Oh, so that's why you told Beano TV to come along. I'm only here because I thought you said Mammoth. Let's not dwell on the mathematical details, shall we, Anne? You're only here to make sure I get my slice of fame. Oh, crumbs! Ready to get a move on. I'm nearly late for my how to spot people hiding in shrubbery class. Um. <laughs> ah! I think I'm smart than a prop! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I don't really know. This young hero just saved the day. What? Uh, uh, who? Him? At a boulder dash. Yeah, I'm not sure if I did. You saved the day? Pie face cool. A proper exclusive story. You join me at the scene where a brave young man selflessly risked his own life to save two others. Oh, wow. What drove you to such a deed? Well, I, um, uh, you see... Uh... What he's trying to say is, the best way to thank him is to declare tomorrow Pie Face Day! Pie Face Day! Day. 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 Day! Extending the weekend, making it a holiday for everyone in Vino Town. Ah, since when has that mashed potato brain been a hero? I'll get to the bottom of this, and then we'll see who the real hero is. Happy Pie Face Day! An extra long weekend. Loving it. Very happy Pie Face Day! Uh, the thing is, I never really... Oh. Happy Pie Face Day! Look, my own potato! <laughs> Meet Gary. How cute is his special Pie Face Day jumper? <laughs> and here's my potato, Janet. Mm. Uh, you've got this all wrong. Oh, you're so right. Gary shouldn't have a jumper. He's a jacket potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
invented a new pie specially. It's a pie filled with pies. Cool. And a red carpet. All for you, buddy. Oh. I wouldn't get too comfy on that carpet if I were you. This hero is a fraud, and I can prove it. <laughs> My footage from the moth hunt. What? Yes, thank you, Anne. Observe closely. <laughs> He's got his eyes shut. Who's out of control? Bravery? Ha! It was all a total accident by a big coward. We've been tricked. <laughs> That's the end of this silly pie face day. I suggest we hold Walter Week instead, celebrating how great I am with extended school days and a weekend of about five minutes. Oh. We'll have Walter flags, Walter posters, and no more silly little childish balloons. Behold! Can't just invent an holiday about yourself with no reason. Ah, uh, must I explain everything? My balloon does this. <laughs> My father, the mayor, will be very displeased with anyone who doesn't celebrate Walter Week. Be warned, the balloon's camera eyes will spot any sky of us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bertie. Now, you were saying. Happy Walter Week, everyone! <laughs> what happened when the balloon and the cactus threw a party? I don't know. What happened when the balloon and the cactus threw a party? It went with a bang! <laughs> so I can't celebrate Walter for 30 seconds. How will I last a week? We gotta stop that balloon! How? It can see everything. Not for long. Nasha! <laughs> What's up with this stupid thing? Excellent button mashing, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Just about jump onto the balloon's frequency. Now see here, you! I command you to stop whack! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 the carpet! It's generated a huge amount of static electricity. Where's water gone? Ah, get me down! Static! Water's stuck! When it wears off, he's in for a big fall. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Popcorn? Any ideas, Pie Face? Pie Face? Wh Wait! What's that? Not what? Who? Don't worry, Paul. I won't let anything happen to Janet. If he's not careful, he's gonna rip the billboards! He's aiming for the billboard! Go, Pie Face! <laughs> Janet, you're safe. She's safe? Well, what about me? Just hang on there, Walter. Oh, brilliant. Just make the balloon bigger and better at flying away. It's the only way to get Walter down. He's going to burst the balloon. Our face is either incredibly brave or incredibly damned. Actually, it's a bit of both. I really wouldn't. Uh, you kept trying to tell us the truth, but I just wanted the weekend to last longer. We're all sorry, son. Have a very well-deserved happy pie face day. No more celebrations, please. I just did what anyone would do. 
Well, in that case, have a very happy normal day of the week, though! Yay! Yeah! Happy normal day of the weekday to you two! Let's never mention Walter Break again! What? Oh, I'm so cross, I'm going to... to... stop my foot! Did I just discover that rare and valuable moth? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Nope, just some rare and valuable beano bird poop. Like <laughs> 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 in moccasins. Practicing my maze beans finale for the Din Makers concert tonight. Where are you? I'm at the hall for the sound check, which is where you should be. Oh, guff bombs! I totally forgot. We're on our way. Can you swing by the lab and pick up Ruby? She's not here either. <laughs> Check it out, Asha. It's a clock cog ball thing. Hmm. Instructions. Do not operate machine. <laughs> no, spiky head meddling boy. Do not touch. <laughs> oh, dear. Dennis! Oh, thank Einstein! The hedgehog-headed boy and dog are all right. What's with the personal space invasion? You've been gone for two weeks. We've been worried sick. Foolish boy messing with a time machine without reading the instructions. I read the front page. What time machine? Shush! It's very extremely top secret. Inside... I had removed the time machine in the town hall clock tower to repair it. Oh, there's a time machine in the town hall clock tower, by the way. I had just finished when you and your fiddly little fidget mitt sent you travelling two weeks forwards in time. Cool! No, not cool. If you bumped into another version of yourself, you could have destroyed the space-time continuum. Yeah, but do we really need the space-time continuum thing? Yes, without it, the entire universe will go boom, boom, clack, bang, bang, boom, bang, bang, boom. Bang. I heard this great joke about time travel. Really? When did you hear it? Tomorrow. The lesson here is always read the instructions before using a time machine. I have been studying it for years and even I have trouble remembering how it works. Dad, you have trouble remembering how the front door works. And that's why I write myself instructions. Take door opening leafer and rotate 40 degrees downwards and... Oh, symbol. Ruby, you call his parents. They'll be fretting like toasty snowmen after two weeks. Wait, what? Two weeks? I've missed the Big Din Makers concert. No! You're lucky to be alive after messing with the time machine. Time machine? Guessing this will send us backwards. <laughs> Dennis! You total goth donkey! Oh, Newton sucks! The time destination sprocket has spoiled! They've gone back in time, but I can't tell how far. <laughs> oh, sorry, pal. <laughs> Good point. Well made. Break! <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've come back to the time of the dinosaurs! <laughs> Dr. Piffle Pooper, what are you doing here in the time of the dinosaurs? It's Puffle Pfeffer! And your shenanigans have interrupted an important scientific breakthrough. Dinosaur bones? In a cage? And a big laser thingy? Yes, you don't! 
I was regenerating a Nashosaurus Rex from the DNA in these dinosaur bones, but uh, somehow it escaped. Wait a time traveling minute. We're not in the time of the dinosaurs at all. Cool. Not cool. You want it? Go on then! Fetch! <laughs> oh, read the instructions. <laughs> we time traveled twice and everything's fine. I think we're cool. Just as long as we don't bump into ourselves and break that space-time continuum thing, yo. Oh, bombs! What was that? About meeting another version of yourself and the universe going boom, boom? Oh, let's go and find Professor Screwtop quick! <laughs> Professor Screwtop? Red Scotch! Spiky head making me jump, boy! What are you doing up there? I'm just, uh, definitely not doing anything top secret with a time machine. <laughs> Don't worry, Prof. Your secret is safe for me. <laughs> if it is indeed true that you and the Toosie Dog Ball have traveled back in time, it is imperative that you don't change anything. Don't worry, we've only nearly destroyed the space-time continuum thingy once and hardly anything else happened. Oh, you weren't chased by a dinosaur! Or two! <laughs> hey, when are we? Hey, Dennis! Where are you? We're back on the same day we left, and everything's totally the same! We didn't muck anything up at all. Who needs instructions? Okay, a few more dinosaurs than when we left. Maybe it is time to find those instructions. <laughs> Without bumping into ourselves, or destroying the universe, or being eaten by dinosaurs. <laughs> cool! Escape <laughs> Can this be? Huh? What? Hmm. It's completely blank. Except this one page that says, under no circumstances ever use this time machine. Oh, what am I supposed to do with that? It's not like we can go back and... Oh, we can stop ourselves from using the time machine in the first place. Spiky headed space time continuum disrupting child. You must not use that time machine. I wasn't going to use it. I was going to smash it! You can't smash my time machine! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No. <laughs> hey, Ruby! Maybe being chased around by dinosaurs has made that me want to read instructions. Oh, check it out, Asher! It's a clock cog ball thing! Hmm. Instructions. Do not operate machine... <laughs> Is it with me and instructions? <laughs> 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 
Calculations, I think nothing just happened, but in a good way. Come on, Dennis, we need to rehearse for the big gig tonight. Oh, yeah, the gig. Don't want to miss that. Why would you be, why would you, why would you be missing it? Why, why would, why would you be missing it? Huh? Town. We love you! I'm afraid that's all we got time for. Oh. Unless... Don't even think about it! Testing! Testing! Pause, pause, pause! Careful, pie face! My experimental sonic amplifier is still in test phase. Ah, listen to that. Get in! Pie face, confirm readiness of Nash-tastic audibility monitor. Hmm? Is Nash ready? Oh, right. Ready and waiting! All right, gang. Prepare for the loudest dog call ever! Wait! Paul doesn't have any earmuffs. Oh, <laughs> If you cross rubbish with a drum kit, noise pollution. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibles! There's no way Nasha won't be able to follow that racket. Swallow that jacket. What happened to your ear defenders? My spear extenders. <sighs> Here comes Nasha. Careful, Bertie! I want everything from the vault moved so there'll be plenty of room for our new family jewels! Uh, uh, but Walter, I thought the diamonds belonged to Beano Town. They did, you dolt! Right up until my father, the mayor, convinced the council they'd be much safer in our vault! <laughs> so now, they're ours! <laughs> yes. uh, uh. I said be careful! That portrait is incredibly valuable! Face. He's chopped it into oblivion! Oh, I need somebody to rid this town of those terrible teeth! Huh. I reckon this is even louder than your supersonic bark, Nasha. Oh. Did someone say something? What's this? Huh? Dearest Nasha. Enjoy this meaty treat as much as I enjoy you. Weird. Who leaves a present in the middle of nowhere? Also, who leaves a present in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Wait, Nasha, your teeth! Don't worry, there's no need to panic. Abyssinian wire-haired tripound teeth grow back in a day. <sighs> New molars by the morning. Who do this to poor Nasha? One guess. It starts with W and ends with T. Hmm. This is solid super strength titanium. Seriously expensive. Even Walter wouldn't have the money to buy that. Whoever it was, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> Nasha, what's wrong? He lost his teeth. He's sad. <laughs> no way. Nasha doesn't do sad. <laughs> We're all here for you, Nasha. Nasha wouldn't let some guff brain prank get him down, would you, boy? He just needs some quiet time with his friends. 
Nah, he needs to have some fun. Come on! <laughs> Nothing beats pestering posties to cheer you up, eh, Nasha? Ooh. Ready? Aim? Nash! Oh, it tickles! Oh. <laughs> hey, Dennis! Your dog sucks! <laughs> thanks to you! No, it was thanks to that titanium sausage he bought with the Beano Town diamond. Oh. oh, quiet, imbecile! What diamond? Oh, nothing, you know, Bertie. At a half wit, always making up diamonds. Time to go! You know, it's okay to be sad, Nasha. If that's how you feel. No way! Nasha doesn't do sad. Mm, this is all about his teeth. We just need to compare and contrast the structural integrity of complex compounds to find a suitable substitute for Abyssinian trepound teeth. Exactly. You meant replace Nasha's chompers with other stuff, right? Great. One breaks my dog and gets away with it. Dennis, Nash is not broken, he's just a bit miss. You'd be down in the dumps too if you'd lost your teeth. That's why I'm going to find him the perfect replacement. We're here at Mayor Wilbur Brown's mansion to find out how the famous Beano Town diamonds are settling into their new home. Diamonds, famously one of nature's hardest materials, are also very shiny and super expensive. Did she say hardest material? Here comes Walter Brown. Tell us about the diamonds. I didn't steal anything. It was Bertie. Huh? I mean, uh, the diamonds are perfectly safe. All accounted for in our basement vault. Nothing to see here. That's where the mega expensive titanium sausage came from. Walter must have used one of the Beano Town diamonds to pay for it. More importantly, Walter has the super strong Beano Town diamonds. We're going to rescue the Beano Town Diamonds from Walter's mansion. Who's with me? Ooh. Rescue? Les Poo? Those diamonds belong in a museum, not Walter's greasy palms. What if you get caught? I won't. I've got a perfect plan. We'll sneak in undetected, grab the diamonds and give Nash a sparkling new smile. What? Those super strong stones must be totally as tough as Nash's new teeth. I thought we could, um... Borrow them just overnight till Nasha's teeth grow back. What do you reckon, Nasha? My own personal stash of diamonds, and I finally defeated my sweater clad nemesis and his mangy butt. Oh, not bad for a day's work. <laughs> what is it, Claudia? <gasps> well, 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 look who it is. Dennis had to his usual delinquency. No, no, put those away. I just had an idea how to make this day even better. Time to make our move. We may have an intruder. At ease, nameless security guard. Everything's under control. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. Really lack security around here. I'll oh, have us there in a zip. Well, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> now, the only thing standing between us and the diamonds is a password. Mm, there could be trillions of possible codes. Oh, let's start with password. <laughs> Funny, hard to believe that diamonds are safer here than in the museum. Bingo! OK, Nessa. Get ready to cheer up those chops. How does it feel? Oh, Nasha, mate, I'm sorry. I've mucked this up big time. 
Don't worry, I'm here for you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nasha, you're back! Oh, I've missed you. Friends to the end, okay? Happy your side. <laughs> teeth or no teeth. <laughs> prison or no prison? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think you could outsmart me, Dennis? Oh, I've been one step ahead of you all day. Walter! Let us out! Let you out? Oh, I'll let you out, all right. Just as soon as Slipper arrives to catch you in the act. Oh, look, here he comes. <gasps> you can't bite us away out, but... But sometimes your bark is worse than your bite. Time to see if this baby can handle one of your supersonic barks. <laughs> Some of these is missing! Those diamonds were in Beano Town Museum for 143 years without one going missing! So I'm taking them straight back there! Great Black Bear? Huh? By my calculations, that was the loudest bark in Beano Town history! Look! <laughs> Wanna give that new tooth a test run? <laughs> there we can see Orion's belt. Those are Orion's trousers. And below them, we can just make out Orion's underpants. Wow! Underpants. Oh. What else do you want to see? The Scrutop Scrutiny will show you all the mysteries of space. The Dog Star. <laughs> the constellation of Pisces. <laughs> Check that. Looks like a meteor. No, oh, no, no. To earn that name, it would have to enter Earth's atmosphere. And wallop into the ground, causing massive destruction. Not exactly. Those ones are meteorites. Correct. That's a cute, harmless, not remotely ground walloping comet. See? Ah! Uh, uh, nothing to see here. Come on, Dad. We want to see the comet. Uh, you may think you do, but you really, really don't. Uh, oh. Off you all skedaddle now. Off the bye-bye. Could it actually be? Morning. Just popped in to invite you all on a fun excursion to um somewhere totally must see that'll last ooh, a year or so. Dad, we're not going on a year-long excursion. No, that could take weeks. Professor, is something up? Up? No, of course there's nothing up. <laughs> and you certainly shouldn't go looking upwards to see how there's nothing up there to get upset about. <clears throat> Now, who's for our spot of potholing? Uh, no thanks, Professor. Don't panic, Norbert. You'll just have to try another approach. Your dad's acting weird. And not his normal weird. Don't worry, Rubes. We're going to find out what's wrong and help him. I reckon it's something to do with something he saw through this thing. Look! The comet! It's bigger than before! It's getting closer. Technically, it's now called an asteroid. Correct! And <laughs> as asteroids are totally non-Earth crashy things, there's still almost absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> Dad, what's wrong? Wrong? Just because I'm designing an underground kingdom where you can all live while I stay up top and do sciencey stuff that you wouldn't be interested in? You mean stuff like that? Is it me? <laughs> or have you put rocket boosters on your size changer? Maybe. Dad? Oh, the ruby eyes! All right, 
The scrutineer has spotted a large object on a collision course with <gasps> Earth's precise location of predicted impact, Bino Town. <laughs> Don't be scared, Paul. The professor's got a plan. Right? Indeed I do, vegetable protecting boy. I shall launch my size changer into space and shrink the object down to a harmless speck of dust. Plan genius plan, Prof. Danke schön. And in case of any teensy town demolishing glitches, I've been trying to subtly move everyone out of harm's way. Why don't you just tell people what's going on? Ah, Rubidium, you're too young to remember the panic and pandemonium the last time I spotted a meteorite. Run for your lives! Meteorite! Ah! A vast, earth-shatteringly humongous... Ah, bratwurst mustard. <laughs> Whoopsie. The panic-prone Beanotowners were not amused. So if they find out there's an actual non mustard meteor coming and see it with their own eyes through the scrutineer... They'll really panic. Look, it's breaking out already. <laughs> Not good. I need to launch this baby without anyone noticing. I feel a distraction coming on. Ten. Nine. Commencing countdown. Engines on. Whoa! Look up at the sky! That cloud shaped exactly like a squirrel! A cloud shaped squirrel? Oh! Two, one! <laughs> Bang on course! Can you zoom in, Prof? We want to see this high death. It couldn't be. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. The ray could still shrink that thing from the inside, right? It could. But if that close encounter with the lid has messed with the size change of settings, that might happen instead. Whoa. Dad, you made the meteor. Yeah. I was young and full of dreams. Dreams of inventing a machine to clear up all the space junk in the solar system. But the galactic clutter buster went missing straight after launch. I thought it was lost forever. But clearly it's been up there all these years. Filling up with space junk till it got so heavy that it, it, it started to fall back to us. And now I've made it even bigger. My invention's going to destroy the whole town. Helped by my other invention. Oh, I'm the worst inventor ever. Although, this is all happening because your inventions work too well, which kind of makes you a genius. You'll think of a way to save the town, Dad. I know you will. Ah, <sighs> must ow sink. What could possibly send a huge ow magnetic meteor back out into ow space? Where do astronauts park their spaceships? I don't know. Where do astronauts park their spaceships? At a parking meteor! <laughs> oh, if only I could think of it now! <sighs> Dad, you are a genius! Magnets repel magnets! Science rocks! Let's do this! Up, 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 up. Not so fast! This one's way too small! But I do know where we'll find a magnet that's perfect for the job. You want to borrow my mega magnet? The one I've built to extract vast quantities of metal from the Earth's core for not at all devious and or unlawful purposes? Let me think about it. No! Dr. Pupelfeber, please! I've detected a huge magnetic meteorite. Ooh, scared. Pa! Go away! Oh, it's entering the atmosphere. We must get that magnet! But how? You know that thing your dad's been trying to avoid all day? Yep. Time to bring on some major panic! I'm 
Calculated the exact angle of trajectory needed to shoot that thing right into the sun where it will harmlessly disintegrate. I simply have to activate the magnet's repelling force. Like so. Whoa! It's set to attract, not repel. Dad, reverse the polarity. Oh, and I saw too much. This was a great idea. Of all the days to try on my chainmail vest. 100 miles, 50, 30, Dennis, you've got to reverse the magnetic field. Yeah, about that. Yeah. 100% non magnetic blam tastic plastic. up there, Professor. All thanks to you, hell like chaos theory boy. Ah, panic stations! Another meteor! It looks exactly like a giant planet-destroying dollop of... bird poo-poo. Dad! 